Hello friends. In this video, we will see how to interface Arduino with 4x4 keypad. For that purpose, log in to your Tinkercad account. Go to Designs, then click on New Circuit. A blank design window will open here. In this window, we have to take Arduino Uno and in all components, we will be selecting a keypad of 4x4. This is how the two components we are going to take for this particular assignment. Now for connecting, it has total 8 pins. 4 pins are for rows like this and 4 pins are for columns. So we will be connecting 4 rows and 4 columns of this keypad to Arduino. Starting from connection, we will see they are connected from starting from pin number 2. This is 0, 1 and 2. Then we will be connecting second pin to 3, 4 and 5. 4 columns are connected to 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now we will be connecting four rows. They are connected to six, seven, pin number eight, and pin number nine. Four rows and four columns are now connected like this. That's it. This is the connection. Now what we need to do is we need to write the code for this keypad and Arduino interfacing. For that purpose, open this code. Click on the text. Continue. Remove this part. This code is already available. So I will explain that code to you. Before that, let's check the output part. This code is available here. We have done the connectivity like this and we will start the simulation. Now the simulation is started. Open serial monitor. Now check over here. Whichever key we are going to press, that key, the pressed key will be appear in the serial monitor. So I will press, let's say one. So you can see one is here. Five, seven, nine, eight, zero. A, B, C, D, all the keys, hash, star, like this. Whatever keys we are going to press, all those keys are displayed on the serial monitor. So this is what the interfacing of your 4x4 keypad with Arduino is. Now let us see the coding part. In the coding part, firstly we have to include the header file for your keypad. That is hash include keypad.h. Now we have to define for uh, two variables for rows and columns. It will be like this. Number of rows, four. Number of columns, four. Because this keypad is of four by four. Next is, we need to define the key map. Means the structure of your keypad. Which are the rows and which are the columns that we need to define. So the key map, the size of key map will be, it has four rows and four columns. So it will be automatically four by four matrix. Like this, you can see 1, 2, 3 and A will be in the first row. So 1, 2, 3 and A will be in the first row. Likewise, whatever structure we are going to see on the keypad, the same structure will be created in your key map with the help of your number of rows and column that is your matrix. Now, next is what connection we did. We have connected this particular rows, row 1, to row 4 are connected to 9876. So the row pins are connected to 9876 and the column pins are connected to your 5432. So we are going to create one array 
or your rows and columns and the connection is mentioned like this next is we need to initialize the keypad and for that purpose we have already included its header file keypad.h now with the help of that header file we are going to initialize its instance my keypad will be the instance of your keypad and with the help of this keypad constructor we are going to create the virtual keypad by using its instance like this keypad in bracket make key map this is built in function of your this keypad we are going to use this function to create the key map make key map in bracket this key map is nothing but your this part the structure of your keypad is stored in this particular function row pins means this array column pins means the connectivity part and we are going to take number of rows and number of columns like this so with the help of this particular line we are going to initialize an instance of your keypad class like this for that purpose we will be requiring this key map we will be requiring this rows and we will be requiring this number of rows and columns now void setup serial begin 9600 standard value void loop character key pressed is a variable that we are going to use as soon as any key is going to press that key value will be stored in this particular variable that's why character key press is equal to my keypad my keypad is an instance of your keypad class so my keypad dot get key get key is a built in function of your keypad which will going to return the key which is going to press on this particular 4 by 4 keypad so if any key is getting pressed it will be stored in this particular variable if no key will be pressed no key is built in variable that is defined in your keypad class no key means if any key is not getting pressed that condition will be if key press is not going to match with your no key then only it will going to display if i will not going to press any key it will not going to display anything and if any key is getting pressed it will going to check with the condition key is pressed so this condition will be satisfying and it will going to display your that particular pressed key on your serial monitor this is how we can interface 4 by 4 keypad with arduino having the connectivity like this for four rows and four columns i hope you understood this and you enjoyed waiting for your comments on the video thank you